In this video, I'll show you how to swap crypto in Crypto.com's on-chain wallet. There's two ways to do this. You can swap directly within the app, or you can connect your wallet to a decentralized exchange, which may be cheaper and may offer more tokens to swap. So I'll show you both of those. The first thing we need to do is receive some tokens into our wallet that we want to swap. Whichever blockchain that you're using, you are going to need to pay transaction fees on that blockchain. Most blockchains have a gas coin that you can pay transaction fees with. So for example, on Ethereum and all the Ethereum layer 2s, you need ETH. If you're looking to trade on Solana, you need some Sol. That pays for the transaction fees. So go to receive in your wallet, bottom right click wallet, and then up at the top press receive. Here are all of your addresses. So whichever blockchain that you want to use to swap tokens, you can get some of the gas coin in your wallet first to pay for transaction fees, whether it's on Ethereum or Solana or any other chain. So I'm going to copy my Ethereum address up here, and then I'll go over to my centralized exchange and buy some ETH. You'll need to buy some of the gas coin of the network that you're using. So buy some ETH or buy some Solana. I won't show you how to do that in this video. I've got video guides on how to do that. I'll link them down in the description. If you use centralized exchanges, you can use some of the links below as well to get some deposit and trading bonuses if you're new on those exchanges. Uh, so you can click the links if you want those bonuses. But if you've bought some ETH or some Solana or any other of the gas coins, go into your centralized exchange, press withdraw. So if you're using crypto.com exchange, uh, just go to transfer in the asset that you've bought, press withdraw. And then it says, how do you want to withdraw the asset? We want to withdraw to external wallet. And I copied my wallet address, right? So I want to add that wallet address in and then withdraw the asset out into the wallet address of my crypto.com on-chain wallet. If you need step-by-step -step guides on how to sign up for exchanges, buy tokens on them and withdraw them to your wallet, all of those videos will be down in the description, like I said. So you can see that I've got some Ethereum on my wallet right here. And I'm going to swap this for another token. In my wallet, it also tells me that this Ethereum is on the Arbitrum blockchain. You can see the Ethereum logo to the bottom left of that is the Arbitrum network logo. That tells me that my Ethereum is on the Arbitrum network, so I can swap tokens on the Arbitrum network. You may have Ethereum on a different network, like the ETH mainnet. You may have some SOL tokens on the Solana blockchain. That's all going to tell you. It doesn't matter. You can just swap on that network that you have the coins on. So the first thing I'm going to show you, down at the bottom, you can see the blue icon here, which is the swap icon. We're going to choose swap and bridge. And I'm going to swap the tokens directly within the on-chain wallet. The other way is connecting your wallet to a decentralized exchange, which I'll show you in a second. Up at the top, it says Arbitrum and then ETH. So that's telling me again, I've got ETH on the Arbitrum network and I can see a balance right here. Click ETH and the drop down. This is going to give you a list of all the assets that you hold in the wallet and the different chains that they are on. If you have a, a coin on a chain, then you want to swap it on that chain to another, another coin or another token. So what I'm going to do is choose the token now. So I've got ETH and I can use that to pay for gas fees and as value to swap into another token. You can see the tokens on Arbitrum right here. You can search up at the top for any of them if you want. I'm just going to actually choose Tether right here at the top, which is USDT, so a US dollar stablecoin. And from here, we can just go ahead and swap. In the top left, you want to click the settings here. You can see slippage tolerance and gas fee. Slippage tolerance is the difference between the price quote that you get given for the exchange and then the actual uh, exchange rate that happens when you swap the tokens. There may be a slight difference between the exchange rate you get quoted and the actual exchange rate when the trade happens. That's slippage. Slippage of around 1% is absolutely fine, especially for large tokens. And then down at the bottom, what's the gas fee that you want to pay? Standard should be fine. I'm just going to click priority here to get it done. So I'm going to press save like this. And then I'm going to swap the tokens. So on the right hand side, I want to uh, trade some amount from ETH into USDT. So I'll just click 25% of it. And then it should actually give me the review of the swap and the exchange rate. So now you can see that one ETH equals around $2,500. But obviously, I'm swapping a fraction of the ETH. You can see that the Crypto.com uh, wallet is actually using Uniswap V2 to swap this token. So it's using a decentralized exchange for us. Now we can use those directly as well and potentially save some money in swap fees. Slippage tolerance 1%. You can see the network fee and everything like that. You can review the swap and everything. You can review the details as well to exactly what's happening and the minimum amount that you'll get and everything else. And then if you want to confirm that, just press confirm. You've got your face ID set up, so it will just uh, go through that. And then eventually that will swap those tokens. Once you swap the tokens, you should see the balances change within your wallet. So now back in my wallet, you can see I've got less Ethereum and have a balance of Tether. If you can't see the token that you swapped into, then just below your tokens, you should see this link here to manage them. So just click that 
And what it will do is refresh all of the balances and search for any fresh balances in your wallet. So up at the top, you can see that it's found that I have balances of these two tokens and I can toggle them on. That toggles on those balances in my wallet. If you can't find them, then you can search for them as well. So you know, I can search for Tether and I can say, hey, I know that on a specific blockchain, I swapped into this specific coin. So you can toggle that on and it should refresh the balance for you and so that you can see them in your main wallet. The other way to swap tokens in your wallet is to connect it directly to a decentralized exchange. This may give us a better exchange rate or cheaper trading fees. The swap that we just performed in on-chain wallet actually use Uniswap to swap the tokens. We can connect directly to Uniswap or another exchange that's giving us a better rate. So down at the bottom, click browser, and then you can see all of the DeFi apps we can connect our wallet to. Uniswap is right there, so we can connect directly. If you're swapping on Solana, you may want to choose Radium. PancakeSwap is also popular. Now up at the top, you can search for any app. And so what I've done is connected to OneInch. OneInch is an exchange aggregator, which means it just aggregates all prices at the time of the swap and uses the cheapest or best exchange rate at the time you're swapping. So I've got my tab open already. So I'll go to active tabs and I'll click this. Down at the bottom, I want to connect wallet. This is going to connect my crypto.com on-chain wallet. So I'll click that down at the bottom. I can connect. It says, do you want to connect to the app? I'm gonna press connect here. And down at the bottom, you can now see my wallet address is connected. Now, what it should also do is scan all of my balances and show me what I can swap. So what I'm gonna do is you pay right here. I'm gonna click this one and I'm gonna to go to the Arbitrum network. You can see it's already found that I've got a balance of ETH and a balance of Tether on the Arbitrum network. So I'm gonna click that one right here. And it says on Arbitrum, you've got some ETH and this is how much you have of a balance. Down at the bottom, I can uh, press select a token. And again, I'm just gonna choose Tether to swap it into like this. And then we can go ahead and swap any amount from ETH to USDT. Now, this is actually a exchange aggregator, which means it's gonna look at the uh, major exchanges and give me the best exchange rate at the time that I'm actually going ahead with the swap. So this may be better uh, and cheaper and a better exchange rate for you to use versus doing it directly with an on-chain wallet. If you need a more in-depth guide on on-chain wallet, that video is linked in the description and deposit and trading bonuses to the exchanges I use. You can get those via the links below as well. I'm James, it's Money DG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.